This is Higher Homework, it's Unit 2 Extension Work. What we're going to look at today is we're looking at question 12. So question 12 is an integration question and what we're doing is we're integrating some thirds and in the questions from A to F they gradually get more difficult as we go through them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up into three, uh, three clips. I'm going to do A and B in this clip. I'll then do C and D in the next, and following on from that I'll do E and F, so some of the more difficult ones that are coming along there that uh, you could be faced with in uh, your exam. So let's go ahead and do them. So I'll go for A and B first of all. Right, so, so let's work through A here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to integrate the square root of X with respect to X. Right, so if I write that out again, I'm just going to write it out. And what I want to do is I want to just show you where the values are going to come from here. If that's a square root, it's as if there's a 2 sitting there. And normally because it's a square root, we don't usually show the 2. Above the x, there's a power of 1 that's sitting there, although we don't usually show it, um, as you can see up above. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to write that in a form where I'm able to integrate it. So I'm going to write it in index form. So what I'm going to do from there is I'm still going to integrate. I'm going to put a, an x here. The power that's there goes to the top. It's going to be a fraction. And the, what we have here, the number that goes there, will be at the bottom of the fraction. So that will be integrating x to the power of half with respect to x. Right, so from there, what I'll do is I'll just integrate it. And when you integrate, all you're doing is you're adding 1 onto this fraction here. And remember when we're adding 1 on, all I'm going to be adding in is 2 over 2. So let's go for that. So adding 1 onto that would give me x to the power of 3 over 2, all divided by the new power, which will be 3 over 2. And what I've got here is plus a constant of integration. From there to work that out, what I'll do is the 2 will just go up to the top there. 3 will stay where it is plus C, and that should be my final answer. If I had to change it to make sure I showed it in third form at the end, what I would do is I would change this, I'd reverse this compared to what I did up at the front there. What I have is a 2 on the top there, I have a 3 sitting on the bottom, I've got the plus C. What I'll do is that 2 on the bottom will tell me it's a square root, so what I'll do is just have a square root, I'll have an X in there, and that power there will tell me that that's a 3 that would appear in there. So that would be the question complete. Can I just show you how this bit here works out? So I'll just show you that. Okay. What I have there is I've got uh, x to the power of 3 upon 2. And I'm going to divide that by 3 over 2. And I just want to show how I get from that line to that line there. So what I've said is that's x to the 3 upon 2 divided by 3 over 2. So let's just show what that would look like if I write it out just uh, in a normal way. I'm going to divide that by 3 over 2. So remember when we're dividing by fractions, we flip and change the last fraction, change the sign. Okay? 2 over 3 and multiply. And when I multiply straight across, just remember there's a, as if there's a 1 sitting under there. Multiplying straight across, that will give me 2x to the 3 over 2, all over 1 times 3, gives me 3. So that's what gives me that answer that's there. Okay, let's look at how I'm going to mark this one. So just now what I'll do is I'll get uh, one mark for putting it into a form where I can start to integrate. So that will be that whole line there. I want the sign, uh, I'll get the x to the power of a half, and I want dx in there as well. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then get this value here, this one. It's going to give me my second mark, and this part here will give me the final mark that's there. So that's going to be out of three marks. Right, so when I'll move on to the, the next question, what we're doing is it's just going to gradually get a bit more complicated as we go along. So if I'm looking at this one here, I can see that I've got a cubed root of x on the bottom here. I know that there's a power of 1 that should be sitting there. So from there I'm going to just sort that bottom part out first of all. So I'm still going to be integrating. I've got 1 all over and that's going to be x 
to the power of 1 over 3. So that's a fraction that's going to be there as well with respect to x. From there what I'll do is uh, I still can't integrate from there because I've got uh, I've got the x values on the bottom so I really need them on the, the numerator on the top line. So what I'll do is I'll take from there up to the top. And all that's going to give me is x to the minus a third with respect to x. Let's go ahead and integrate it now. So I'm going to add onto this, I'm going to add 1 onto this, and 1 is just 3 over 3, so that will give me x to the power of 2 over 3, and that will be divided by 2 over 3, and I've got plus a constant of integration, because I don't have any limits that I'm uh, working with here. I'll then sort this out, so that would be 3x to the 2 over 3, all over 2, plus c, and then again what I'll do is, if I, if I had to write it in the sub form again, what I'll do is I'll just change that back. So I'm going to have 3 there, I'll have a 2 on the bottom, I've got the plus c, and what I'll do here is, I know it's going to be a root that's going to be here, the 3 is at the bottom, so that's going to be the root, and the power is the 2. So that's how I'm going to get my answers from there. Right, uh, let me again show you, can I show you this part here, so how we get from there to there. That's the bit that I want to show you next, okay? So what we've got is, we've got 1 all over x to the power of a third. Now, I know something about uh, 1. I know that anything to the power of 0 is going to be equal to 1. So if I've got x to the power of 0, that's still equal to 1. And I've got x to the power of a third on the bottom. Now, working with indices, if I'm dividing with indices, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract. So that's going to be x to the power of 0 minus a third. And what that gives me then is x to the power of minus a third. And that's how I get from this line to that line there. And that's just, just by doing this part here. Right, let's, let me show you how we're going to mark for uh, b. Again, I'm going to give one mark for getting into a form where I can start to integrate. So I'd like to see all of this here. Next mark I'm going to give for this one here. Integrating and sorting it out. And finally, one mark for the plus C again. So this, this one here, again, out of three marks. So the next clip will include C and D.